everybody, it is time for maths. A bit like the English, we want to keep it simple. We're brushing off the cobwebs today. We're not going to go in too deep. We're going to get used to how these lessons work. And we're going to have three types of lessons on learning lockdown. And this is going to be lesson number one today. It's called a dropout. So if you hear this noise, it means it is time for your year group to drop out the video and go and do your tasks. We will tell you which year group it is at each time. If you fancy a challenge though, and you finish your task within that half hour window we mentioned in the previous video, then maybe you can click back onto the video and watch the year four, five, or even six video to challenge yourself. And if you are a years five, six, or four, and you've completed all of those, and you're still looking for something to do, we're gonna attach a challenge below, all to do with checks. If you are in years four, five, or six, and you don't wanna sit through the year three part of the lesson, that's okay. Your times on the video are here. Click on these links and they will take you to different parts of the video. I hope. I don't know. If they don't, tell us about it and we can fix it. Put the slider at the bottom and slide it along. Whoop. But what we would say is try and stay tuned in because actually we're going to be using terminology and tips in the year three lessons, in the year four lessons, in the year five lessons that will help you in the year six lessons. So the year three explanation will probably be the longest and we'll get quicker as we go through because we'll be using the same terms. So let's kick off straight away with year three. What is the objective for today, Mr. S? Starting off nice and simple, where we start off most years in maths, and that is place value. Reading and writing numbers up to different sorts of limits, okay? For year three, your limit is up to 9,999. So Mr. A is getting the all important place value columns ready. Now, I'm sure you already recognize what these are, but it's good just to have a little bit of revision. We have, over here are thousands, thousands. Over here, <gasps> it's not phonics, we're working on key spaces. Oh, sorry. Hundreds, tens, and ones. And we read them from left to right. And Mr. S now is gonna use four digits, any four digits, put them in any order, and we're gonna look at what number Let's he go. creates. If your handwriting is better than Mr. Stamper's on your threes, we advise it. Should be everybody. I mean, I am kind of. We've got the number here. Let's see if you can read it with us. All we do is read from left to right and we read what we see. 7,000, 400, three tens, two, mm. Now, I'm sure you already know that three tens makes 30. And we put these two numbers together to create the number 32. So I didn't read it correctly there. We should be saying 32 at the end. So putting it all together would be 7,432. But one more thing. In between the hundreds and the tens, we always chuck, and I'll zoom in so you can see that, a cheeky word, and. So we should say 7,432. No matter how big the number, there's always an and between those hundreds and those tens. Now, Mr. S, I would like you to rub out those digits, give me four more digits, and we'll see if we can read the next number. Now, Mr. S here has used a special digit that has a very special name. And it is this digit over here. It's called a placeholder because we won't actually say anything because we know zero has the value of nothing. So we don't actually say anything. So we read this number like this. 3,296. That naughty six always up getting up to no good. He wasn't listening. I hope you were at home. When there's a zero there, we don't read it, Mr. S. 3,206. Oh, okay. 3,206. Six. Simple Got as you. that. Now, you. on your link below year threes, you'll have a selection of numbers. Have a look at those. See if you can say those numbers out loud. And also, what we're also going to get you to do is there's going to be some audio files underneath. And you can listen to those audio files. There's going to be some numbers. See if you can write out the number that you hear. So first of all, we're just looking at writing them as digits. But now let's move on to writing them as words. And it's probably a lot easier than most people think. Because all you need to do, if you can already read it out loud, then all you need to do is write exactly what you read. Like this. Capital letter's still important. Three. Thousand. Two. Hundred. We put the and in. If we say it, we write it. And six. I'll put this full stop at the end. 
Now, there's one more thing that we have to put in, okay? When you read out these numbers, it's almost like you're reading out a list in your English work, okay? And we're putting the numbers together. So we have 3,000, that's one part, 200, that's another part, and six. Now, we've got the and, which you put at the end of a list, but we don't have the other thing we need, which is a comma. So the comma goes just here. 3,000, comma, two hundred and six and that's how we write those numbers let's try one more year three and then we're going to ask you to click down on the link below listen to the audio files write down the numbers have a look at the numbers we've given you and write them out as words so let's have a look got another placeholder hopefully mr s has remembered don't say them remember we write what we say so let's say it four thousand and twenty nine capital letters four thousand we don't need a comma because we're going straight into the last part. And 29. Now, nah, nah. Mr. A has just drawn something very strange. Doesn't look any letters to me. What is this, Mr. A? Uh, this is a hyphen. Hyphen. This must, be, watching some, Finn. must be somebody called Finn yeah. watching. But not that kind of hyphen. Okay. Hyphen. Now, what this does is, as we said at the start of the video, these two numbers join together to make the number 29. And what we do is we show that they're one number by putting them with a little hyphen between them. Very good. Year three. Listen in. Drop out! Not, not that dramatic, just go and do your work. Year fours, it's your turn. Now Mr S is just going to put on the board a selection of letters. Now with year threes, we've just been looking at four digit numbers. Year four, you go up to five digit numbers. So you're not going up to the number 9,999. You might have to go up to the numbers 99,000. 999 and I want you to start thinking of families so if we look at here we have our ones tens hundreds we recognize our thousands we should recognize if you don't go back to the year three video and have a watch and finally the ten thousands now these ten thousands as always are simply ten of these the same way that a thousand is ten of a hundred the same way that a hundred is ten of ten and the same way that a ten is ten ones so, we've just been moving up 10 times as we go along our place value. But I want you to think about families. I want you to think about these two as in the thousands family. And if you think about that, it's gonna be much easier. And to help us, I'm just gonna separate our thousands family from our hundred tens and ones with a little, little comma. Sometimes you see these commas in numbers, sometimes you don't. But today it's gonna to help us separate those thousands from the hundreds, tens and ones. Mr. S, can you give me Are you ready? five digits, please? If you're with us at the year three video, you know, we just read what we see. But I'm going to put the comma in my number that I placed up top because I want to look at just my thousands for a second. So I'm going to put a square over here so you can't see those numbers. And let's just have a look at these two digits. Five and four. Now, if I was to look at the digits five and four, what number would that make me stress? 54. 54. Now, all you've got to do when you're reading these numbers is say the number 54. But because they're in the thousands family, you say 54. Thousand. Yeah. So we read the number like this. 54,000, and then we carry on, 700 and 28. 54,728. Mr. S, five more digits, please. So let's do it again. Let's put our comma in. Separate our thousands. I remember this one now. So it's 96,000, because they're in the thousand family. Correct. 800 and there's nothing there straight to the four so 96,804 absolutely so year fours beneath you will find some audio files with some numbers we're reading out go and have a listen to them and see if you can write out as digits those numbers but we're going to need to write them out another way today and that is as words and again as we said to year threes write what you see don't forget your capital letters let's start with our thousands family 96 we join those together, thousand, comma, just like we would in our number, eight, hundred, and, miss out the tens, four. Now, just because you're writing a number does not mean that you shouldn't take good care with your handwriting, okay? We were a long time away from school. We've got to make sure that handwriting Absolutely. stays really good, too. We're looking forward to seeing some of your handwriting that you, get, you send in to us. So, you just write what you see, not forgetting your commas, not forgetting your and that is in between the hundreds and the tens. We'll do one more with you, year four, before we set you off 
writing out some of your numbers in the link below. It's going to be your turn, Mr. Samba. I'm going to give you the digits. You've got to read it. Okay, so that's stuck in my thousands family again because that would look like number 20. I've got 20,000. We could even put the comma in to help us. Yeah. 415. 20,415. Absolutely. Let's write what we see. 20,000. Let's put that comma in. 400. Don't forget the and. And. We don't want you to worry about the spelling of some of these numbers, okay? So we're going to put some key spellings to help you with this just in the link below. Absolutely. Year fours, here comes your time. Drop out! Off you go, year fours. Year fives and six, it's over to you. So year fives, just as Mr. S cleans up that board, we're going up to six digits for you. So you will be going up to the number 999,999. So Mr. S is putting our place value letters on the board and we'll have a look to see what we recognise, to see what we need to right. read. So here we go. We've now got six digits. Hundred thousands, ten thousands, thousands, hundreds, tens, ones. If you were watching the year four clip, you know we like to talk about families. We've now got three members of the thousands family. We put a comma to separate them. And I'm going to chuck in ready that little and that comes between the hundreds there. And actually we chuck another and over here between our hundred thousands and our ten thousands, because we're gonna to need to say that as well. So, are you ready for digits? Mr. S, give me six digits, please. Right, let's read it. Now, if you were with the year fours, you know we talk about our family. So if we blocked out these last three digits, we'd have these three, and what do those three say? 542. 542, but they're in the thousands family. Let's separate them off. 542,000. Absolutely, 542,165. We're gonna go straight into writing it as words, so just write what you see. Capital letters and handwriting. 500, put that and in. 42, we always join our tens and our ones if we're picturing them that way with a hyphen, but these aren't tens and ones, they are in the thousands. Thousand, comma, one hundred and sixty-five. They are getting longer. But just remember, write what you see. Did you, let's do one more with the year fives, Mr. S, and then we'll let them go. Right, let's say what we see. I'm gonna put the comma in to help my thousands family. Just look at those three digits, Mr. S. 980. 980. 1,000. 300. And six. Let's write what we see. Speed up. 980,000, comma, three, Hundred and six. Just like that. Click on the links below. There's some audio files for you to listen and write down the numbers as digits. And then also there are some numbers for you to write down as words. We'll put the mark scheme up tomorrow. Drop, Drop out, out year, year five. five. Year six, we're on to you. Let's go quick. We're going up to seven digits. Let's do the check. Mr. S is going to put seven different parts of our place value grid on the board, because you are possibly going up to the number 9,999,999. A crazy number, but we should be okay. So, millions, hundred thousands, ten thousands, thousands, hundreds, tens, and ones. If you've been watching the other lessons, you should be firing along with these by now. So, Mr. S, give me seven digits. Now, if you remember, we have our thousands family, separated from the hundreds, tens, and ones. But actually, our new place our family. Our new family's moved in. A new family's moved in. The Millions family. We're going to separate them from the thousands as well. Kind of like a fence between the houses. Let's call it that. Now, this will help us read our number just like it did with the years four and five. Because we're going to look at just the millions for a second. Blank all the other ones out. And we've got the digit three. How do you say that? Three million. Three million. Then we look at our next three. In our thousands family, blank everything else out. How do we say that, Mr. S? 201,000. 201, put it in the thousands. Then we move on to the last bit, which is just as we know, 943. 
Put it all together, what have we got, Mr. S? We have 3,201,943. Spot how those commas break up our families and it becomes much easier to read. If you can read three digit numbers, you can read this number quite easily, as long as you remember those family names, millions and thousands. Now, writing it out in words, it gets very tricky. Three million comma, because now I have a list of loads of numbers, three million, two, Hundred and there was the and in there and over here and one thousand comma to separate the thousands family nine hundred and forty. Oh, Mr. A, I feel like you need to lie down after writing that. Look at the size of that number. A very long number. Now, year sixes, we're going to set you a challenge that when you're looking at your numbers today. You are going to, first of all, listen to the audio files, see if you can write them in digits, and then write them as words. You're going to look at the digit numbers we've given you, see if you can write them in words. But also, we want you to think about checks. Checks? Checks. What do you mean by checks? Well, uh -huh. okay, number four and five are fish are sealed, but uh -huh. look, number 70 means it's going to have to come out. It's going to have to come out. Ah! One, two, three, four, can you hear me? Check, 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 mic check. I think I've got everything for the trip. What else do we need? Um, you need your toothpaste. Check. Um, your hairbrush. Check. Legs. Both your legs. Oh, I forgot that. <sighs> Not those kind of checks, Mr. S. We're talking about checks for money. These kind of checks. These are money checks that your mums and dads, aunties and uncles and grandmas and granddads might have written. Nowadays you do online banking, but it's still a good skill to know. You need to be able to write numbers as digits, as you can see as we're displaying on the board on the screen now and you need to be able to write it as words, as you can see here on the check as well. So we've given you some checks below in the link. Have a go at writing out some checks. Check them out. Why not? Check them out, and then if you want, we've actually left a blank check where you could design your own bank check for your, your, the bank of whoever you are. Sally's bank. Sally's bank and then Maybe. you can create them. Well, that is the end of our academic side today. Thank you for bearing with us. That was a long maths lesson. They will get quicker as we go on. And we will give you feedback from today's lessons, the autobiography and this place value lesson in tomorrow morning's lesson. So we do the lesson today. And just like all good teachers who mark straight away and have the feedback ready for the next day. Yeah, we all do that, don't we, teachers? That's what we'll do for you tomorrow, okay? We'll look at your work if you send it to us and we'll give everybody some feedback in tomorrow morning's lessons. See you after your break.